All right, looking at our CFL power rankings for the week. Reminder, if you uh, missed it, I was on 3 Down Nation in writing form this week, recapping the Saskatchewan Rough Riders game against the Calgary Stampeders. Um, we start at the bottom of the power rankings, number nine, the Ottawa Red Blacks. Uh, again, I think there's something that they can build on for this season um, going into next year, but it's been a bit of a rough go out in Ottawa. At eight, it is Edmonton. Again, they have Trey Ford, so excitement abound out in Edmonton, but it's it's fallen off for sure. Um, at seven, it is Saskatchewan. That was an awful game against the, the Calgary Stampeders that it, it never felt like it should have been close. They, the, the pass rush was getting to, um, to, to Mayer early. They were kind of moving the ball, at least on the ground. Um, it, it just felt like everything was going well, but just a couple of miscues, they let Calgary hang around, and now their fate is out of their own hands. That did not look like a team that deserved to be in a playoff spot, but here we are. Um, at six, it's Calgary, kind of ditto. I didn't think they played particularly well in that game. They caught a couple of big plays that were enough to, to take it from Saskatchewan and, and pick up this win, but not an overly impressive showing from the Calgary Stampeders either. At five, it is Hamilton as the Ticats um, battling to try to keep things close for that home field advantage in the West semifinal, but like what they did against the, the Riders a couple of weeks ago, we'll see how they can build on that heading toward the postseason. At four, it's Montreal. We, we've said it for weeks. They just feel like they are so clearly the best of the rest right now um, in the, the, the Canadian Football League. Like, it's the top three, and then there's that middle group. Montreal feels like they are the top of that middle group. Um, and then, three, two, one, it is the Red Bull, Mercedes, and Ferrari of the CFL world, as at three, it is the BC Lions, at two, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, and at number one, you have the Toronto Argonauts heading towards the CFL postseason just a couple of weeks away. Playoff time in the CFL is just so good. I cannot wait for it to get going. So those are your CFL power rankings for the week.